Hi everyone, welcome to this part of my room, my bare face. So today I wanted to sit down with you, chat a little, and walk you through the process of how I try to look like myself, like the way that I feel on the inside, projected outside uh, because this baby face is not how I feel. So I've already moisturized my face and I'm gonna go in with some foundation. I have been doing my skincare routine very consistently lately so my skin has been looking pretty sexy if I do say so myself. But I do have some like redness right here and kind of rosacea. You can't really see on camera but it's there, don't worry. And then I'm just gonna blend it all together with this abnormally large beauty blender. It's not a beauty blender, it's six dollars but Dab, dab, dab. So I just wanted to do a kind of general life update. I'm currently recovering from a breast augmentation, a boob job. I have boobs now, guys. They're here, kind of. You can't really see them. But it's been three weeks already. I've been feeling great. Don't worry, I'm doing a whole ass video on the entire process and journey. As you can see, I'm doing really well. Nothing bad has happened yet or hopefully ever. I also got my hair dyed, as you can see here. Winter break is officially over, so I am back in San Diego. And that's why I haven't filmed a video in a couple of weeks. Uh, it's because my room in my parents' house was converted into an office, so it's not very pretty. And because winter break is over, that means I start classes soon. I have my first day of classes in two days, and I I'm, I'm feeling sad, it's bittersweet because I used to love like my first day of classes like I loved like trying to find my class, trying to sit somewhere with someone like that looked cool that I wanted to be friends with um, but now it's just very scary and intimidating and a waste of money when it's on zoom so <sighs> Moving on to eyebrows, I literally wear the same eyebrow stuff like every single day and I don't really wash it off because I have absolutely no eyebrows underneath. So this is probably like three days worth of eyebrows that I just kind of stack on. It's really nasty. I don't know why I'm admitting that, but it's just how it is. So my question I got was why and when did you start wearing makeup? I really started wearing makeup daily when I got into like sophomore year of high school. It was a bad time. You can tell I did, really did not know how to do my makeup. And on like YouTube, they wouldn't have like any like Asian people that would do makeup. So I could never like find something that really flattered my face or really did something with my eyes or my eyelashes and all of that. So I kind of had to figure that on my own i have this really big fear that i'm doing like the wrong makeup for my face oh 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 i'm gonna put on some lip mask this is a really fancy one from sephora but this one i really like it a lot of you have been asking for an eyeliner tutorial so here you go yeah All right, first step is to take a felt tip pen liner. Uh, I like using this first because I can really get close to like the nib there, kind of like a pencil. Ooh, this is gonna be tricky to film, okay. So for me and my eye shape, I like to kind of follow the line from my under like waterline right here. So I don't like to go too far up or too far down. I kind of just like, uh. I really like bringing the line out to at least the end of my eyebrow here. As you can see, sometimes I'll go a little longer, but I'll never go shorter than the end of my eyebrow. And then all I do is connect it over and then just fill it in. And because I have Asian eyes and monolids, I like to do a little inner corner liner action. I think it really complements my eye shape. So I find that eyeliner pens, at least the ones that I use, are really shitty <laughs> and they're really streaky. So you can see that my liner is not defined, but I like to put this down to kind of get an outline. 
And then, and then, the key, I think, for me to make it look very crisp and just solid is to go over it again with a liquid liner. It has really good, like, flick, flick factor to it. I don't know. So when using liquid liner, you definitely want to start at, like, the thickest part. So I'm going to start right here on my eye and then flick it upwards so it gets really thin up there because I don't want it to look boxy. I want it to look sharp. And then I'm just gonna fill in. Mmm, okay. See how already it's so much more dark and dramatic? Yes. And this is where I really define and make the inner corner thing really sharp. See, I messed up here. As you can see, it's not following the shape of my eye. Like here, it like kind of elongates my eyes, but this really makes my eyes point downwards. So we're gonna start over. So that's basically all I do for eyeliner at this step. It took me a really long time to find an eye look that really complemented and enhanced my monolids. I used to hate, and when I say hate, I mean hate my monolids because, I don't know, I hated being Asian and my monolids made me look more Asian. I was really set on getting like the double eyelid surgery and I am just so happy that I didn't do it because my monolids are my favorite feature of my existence now because I think so beautiful and interesting. So yeah, it took me 20 years <laughs> to try to find a, you know, look that I felt pretty and cool and so if you have monolids too you should try this out i guess on the topic of asian things uh, i wanted to talk about anime and k dramas i am watching haikyuu for the third time in a couple of months it is such a feel-good anime and the boys are my babies and they will be forever i recently finished crash landing on you which is a k drama very very beautiful cast but just that's not new for any K-dramas, but wow. I'm thinking of starting Startup. Hopefully I like it. I've heard some good things about it, but I think I'm just catching up on Asian things like anime, like K-drama, because I'm finally like, don't hate being Asian. I went to school in the white suburbs. I was made fun of constantly for being Asian and I just didn't want to be like those other Asian girls. My, you know, eyeliner, I think it really accentuates and elongates my eyes. And before this, I would do anything I could to really round out my eyes to make it look like I had a double eyelid crease development. To <laughs> move on to lashes, I am trying to take off the last bits of like dried lash glue from yesterday so don't mind me i actually use two lashes stacked on top of each other i just started doing this like a month ago i wanted a more dramatic look to kind of complement my pretty dramatic liner there is a very high level of skill to try to put the exact amount of lash glue when you're using like the squeezy ones like this uh, but I use the star glue right here it's literally you can get two from Amazon for five dollars and this is by far the best lash glue I've ever used and I have been wearing lashes daily since I was 14 so it's been seven years wait so as we're waiting for the glue to get a little bit tacky, uh, next question. Favorite hobbies during quarantine? Oh my gosh, okay, one second. I recently just made a box theater. I got this from Amazon for $10 and it took me four days. Oh, oh, it lights up. I've also picked up Journaling, I love taking photos on film, so when I have them developed, I don't really know what else to do with those photos. My caterpillars are on. Okay, so something that I really like about my new eyeliner look is that everything kind of goes in like one continuous line, like there's no gaps where you can see like my eye skin. I don't know, I don't know what else to call it. So I like to close the first gap right here from my inner corner to my lash. And then I just take a pretty chunky coal liner like this and go ham on my like lower water. I think that's called a waterline. It's 
Sorry if you thought that was gross. All right, here we go. My eye makeup is all done. So I realized that I forgot to show you how I do my lower lashes, like how I draw them with liner. So hello, future Jazzy here. We'll be back to your regularly scheduled program soon. I always have a reference photo right here. Hello, that's my eyeball. And with this, I literally just go straight in with the liquid liner. It's just so hard to do it with the felt tip liner for me because the ink doesn't come off well enough. So I just kind of pray and hope that it works. Sometimes I have to do it like three times for it to look decent so i personally do five little lashes on my eyes because of how long they are and i feel like five is a good number so i'm going to start off with the outer edge right here so you really don't want to make them too long or too thick so for the next one i like to point it down i don't like when all of the lashes like point in one direction obviously they look fake because i'm literally drying lashes with eyeliner uh, but i don't like it when they look like too fake i kind of want them to look like, sprawled out and crazy so these three are the biggest ones that i'll do and then the two in the inner corner will be tiny babies at the end of the day it is all trial and error this took me so long to try to perfect even right now i was pretty surprised that this is going so well yeah i think it's a fun funky time i know it's not for everyone but it makes me feel like a spunky girl moving on to contour i'm just using <laughs> this Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer that i got probably five years ago blend 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 aggressively contour my cheeks a little bit i kind of go higher like my cheekbone is here and i'm kind of like doing it on the cheekbone then lower because i learned from tiktok that sometimes if you do your contour a little low for some face shapes i think mine um it kind of drags the face down so this kind of lifts it up i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about i'm just kind of just kind of slapping stuff on my face this blush is so fun because it has glitter in it let's just put that baby on put some on my nose because that's really cute moving on <laughs> to the lips yeah so for months i've been using the sephora jelly melt in foxtrot daily i just think it makes me look really lively like i just bit a really good strawberry or something but starting last week i have been doing a different kind of lip look so so i just wanted to show you what that has been looking like i've just been taking a brown lipstick or you can use a lip liner or even an eyeliner and start at the cupid's bow right here i like to really round out my cupid's bow and then just line your lips i look like i have a mustache <laughs> and the way that i have made this not look super weird on me i think at least i don't think it looks super weird on me is that i will take some blend it inwards like this blend and then i take the essence shine 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 lip gloss it's three dollars the most glossy gloss you had ever seen in your life it's giving me very 2000s 90s vibes i'm loving it though it's definitely very new and kind of interesting so i totally understand if you don't really like this lip look i'm still feeling a little bit iffy about it but i used to hate my lips too they're very very large um i was called fish lips most of my life um so i never really wore lip gloss or anything shiny or round in my cupid's bow because it made my lips look bigger but now i'm like fuck it i look like a cool bratz doll and um i'm gonna embrace it and with that my makeup is done Ooh, makeup yeah i'm now going to move on to some hairstyles that i've been doing recently so i first saw this hairstyle on tiktok because that's where i find all of all of everything yeah it's it's kind of embarrassing a little bit of hair a little bit of my blonde hair like this and just kind of make a little pigtail Also, you can definitely tell that I did not get my bangs professionally cut. <laughs> it was so embarrassing when I was getting like my hair dyed, my hairstylist, because I it was just a new one, and he was like, "Who cut your bangs?" And I was like, "I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> and then I just take some clear elastics, go like I don't know, like an inch, inch and a half, I don't know measurements, tie it off, and then floof it up. <gasps> And then you have a little bubble. Do you see that? She's so cute. Ow. And then you just keep repeating that using an absurd amount of elastics. <laughs> I like to leave like a little tail. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. 
but one side done isn't it cute i feel like it's really cute i was kind of skeptical at first when i saw this hairstyle i was like i don't think this will ever look good on me i don't even know if it's cute and i tried it and i was like okay yeah i love it it's my new favorite hairstyle <laughs> I know you're probably just supposed to like cut all of these out, but I'm just way too cheap to just be cutting hair bands. Like I could use them again. I might lose some hairs on the way, but hey, that's the circle of life. No, it's not. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So this one's really, really basic, but I have been getting questions on how I do this hairstyle. So all you need is a claw clip and then you want to take your hair this like kind of like in a low ponytail and then twist it up do like a half of a half so like a fourth and then push it up like this and then just take a clippy hope that it stays <laughs> but this reminds me of when i was younger my mom worked full time my dad stayed at home and he didn't really know how to do our hair he didn't really know how to do a ponytail um he really only knew how to do this we called it chicken because it kind of looks like a chicken so when i was like seven i would always just tell my dad like oh i want chicken hair and then he would just do this and i would wear this hair most days and because i have like split dye hair now i am going to take my black hair right here and kind of push it up so you can see like the blonde bits we're back in the bathroom for this next hairstyle my hair is pretty flat as you can see so i found this thing it's called a volume <laughs> uh, but it's kind of like a cool waffle iron for your hair i have it heated up to a spicy 365 degrees i could cook a turkey at this temperature so i'm really happy i am putting my hair under these conditions so what i do is i take like an inch or two of like upper layer hair like this flip it over and then i take a bit of hair like this much I try not to take too much blonde right here since i don't want to overheat it too much and have my hair fall out then i take the crazy contraption and i put it kind of close to my roots right there hold it for a couple seconds Ooh, steam that's sexy and then i put it again also, my hair is really oily. Kind of go over it a couple times. You don't want to hold it for too long, but I kind of like to do a couple of passes. I kind of scrunch it up like this, wait for it to cool down, scratch it, and you can see how it created like a ton of volume right there because it's kind of crimping your hair a bit and it's making it kind of matted and tangled together. I have tried, you know, teasing my hair using volumizing shampoo, using dry shampoo. It just doesn't do it for me. The volume, let me tell you, was an investment, but I think it was worth it and it gives me my desired look. It takes me less than five minutes and now I have voluminous hair. All right, I hope you enjoyed the little chat. Hopefully my tutorial for my makeup and the hair stuff wasn't too awful. Yeah, bye. <laughs>